Hello, I'm Sarah Charters, and I'm the Donor and Investor Relations Manager at the United Church of Canada Foundation. Each year, nearly 300 people give about $2 million in gifts of stocks and mutual funds to the Foundation. We pass these gifts on to congregations, United Church organizations, and charities across the country. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to make your gift of stocks and mutual funds. The process is simple. The major reason people use stocks and mutual funds instead of cash to make their gift is the tax savings. When you donate stocks and mutual funds to a charity, no capital gains is charged, so it can be very tax advantageous to use stocks and mutual funds to make your gift. To get started, you need to look at your portfolio and decide which stocks or mutual funds you would like to gift. Typically, people give stocks and mutual funds that are worth more than when they bought them. You should consult your financial advisor when making the decision. Talking to your advisor is very important, and we strongly encourage you to do so before making your gift. Once you've decided which shares to give and how many, please give us a call or send us an email. That way we can be sure to keep an eye out for your gift and we'll know who to contact if we need more information. To make your gift, you need the transfer form. There is one on our website. It's only two pages and is very straightforward. The first page tells us what your broker will transfer and what we should do with the proceeds. The second page provides your broker with the foundation's account information and has a place for you to sign to authorize the transfer. Once you have the form filled out, give it to your broker. Your broker must initiate the transfer, and it must be a transfer in kind, meaning they have to send the shares or mutual fund units, not cash. Please send the foundation a copy of the form so we know when the transfer has been initiated and what we should do with the proceeds. Now your part is done. It is that simple. Once we have the shares, we sell them as soon as possible and send you a tax receipt for the value of the shares at the close of the markets on the day we receive them. It takes a few days to a couple of weeks for us to receive the proceeds, and once we have them, we send a check or electronic transfer to the organizations you indicated on the form. You receive a copy of the letter notifying the recipient of the gift. If you'd like to be anonymous, we don't put your name or any identifying information in the letter. And that's it. To recap the steps, talk to your advisor, inform the foundation of your intent to make the gift, fill the form out and give it to your broker, give a copy of the form to the foundation. Your broker will send the shares or mutual fund units and we will sell them. We will send you a tax receipt and we send the proceeds to the organizations you indicated. My colleague Eric Lofort and I are here to help. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call our toll free number or send an email. We look forward to hearing from you.